Hey everyone, Dr. Rupa, board certified ophthalmologist here. And today I'm gonna to be talking about is reading in the dark really bad for your eyes? If you're interested in finding out, keep watching. Hello there. I am Dr. Rupa, I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and on this channel we talk a little bit about eye health, eye surgeries, and eye makeup health. And something you might not know is I'm actually fellowship trained specializing in pediatric ophthalmology, so kids eyes and all the stuff that's associated with children and the development of vision is exactly what I do every single day in addition to operating, which I love. So reading in the dark is it really as bad as your mom or your grandma told you short answer is no this is an old wives tale and here's kind of where it originated basically there was a study done about 20 years ago and it was published in one of our biggest medical journals called science it was a big study and what they looked at was they found that kids that had a night light were five times more likely to be nearsighted compared to kids that didn't. So this was huge. All these parents and families were tossing out their nightlights because they were really scared to use their nightlight and make their child nearsighted. And it kind of bought into this notion that reading or doing things in the dark or dim lighting conditions is bad. Well, that study has since been refuted. There have been a ton of other studies that have come out since then that actually showed this is not the case at all. And more than likely what they just found was that nearsighted parents have nearsighted kids and nearsighted parents tend to use a light light at night because they need to see better than parents like me who don't need glasses to see far away. Um, and so that's where they think that there was that bias. And it was also just all based on questionnaires of parents after the fact. So it wasn't a type of study that was done in the moment with those done in the moment, double blinded, placebo control styles. Those are our kind of gold standard for studies. So that's where one of the things that led to the belief that night lights and reading or doing anything in the dark is bad. And then what about the actual reading in the dark? So what they did in this study was they looked at rhesus monkeys and rhesus monkeys have a really similar visual developmental system uh, compared to toddlers. And so they compared the monkeys that were raised in bright light conditions versus dim light conditions and they found no increase in myopia and they really are able to translate pretty closely the rhesus monkey uh, to humans compared to any other animal. So definitely not human studies but that was the basis and a really important study that that just negated what the earlier study said about the kids and the night lights so all right now we know that just having dim lights not a great thing what about reading in dim light again that i'm not really sure where that came from but it has been proven to be false and if anything a newer study has actually shown that doing things in dim light was found to be protective, meaning those kids were less nearsighted than the kids that didn't. So, the, you know, I would definitely say this is a myth. If you are looking at factor myth, does reading in the dark cause your vision to be bad? It is a myth. There have been no studies which have truly demonstrated that reading in the dark causes you to become more nearsighted. Now, sometimes we see an association or a correlation, meaning when people think back and they end up being nearsighted and they try to remember the kinds of activities they did. I think this is where a lot of these anecdotal these little old wives tales came from is that people remember oh i think i used to read a lot in the dark and this is probably where it grew from probably it was just they read a lot now reading in and of itself has been linked to nearsightedness but it's not doesn't really make a difference if you're doing it in the dark or you're doing it in the light or wherever i feel like i'm like in a, like a dr seuss book right there <laughs> it doesn't make a difference no study has shown that so there you go that's a myth tell your mom tell your grandma to stop bothering i'm gonna be honest my own mother has come to my house seen my child reading in the dark and told me and my mom's a physician 
She clearly knows I'm a pediatric ophthalmologist. She helped put me through school. She's told me, oh, Nick should put the light on. He shouldn't read in the dark. It's a really hard old wives tale. It's a really hard myth to stamp out, but it is not true. And there's no basis for it in any of our ophthalmology medical literature. All right, if you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comments below. Let me know what other factor myth you guys want to see next. I'm happy to address them and give you the evidence so you know why something is a factor or a myth and perhaps even where that myth originated from. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this content, please, please, please like, subscribe, and do all of that. I'd love that to be able to produce content also for you guys that you're interested in. Until next time, I'm Dr. Rupa, and I'll see you soon.